Okay, so what I am asked here is to find the surface area of the shape. So the first thing I need to do is I need to realize this is a hexagonal prism. So each base edge length is 10. So that means all of these sides are 10. Okay, so I can just to make sure I understand what that is. And the second piece of information it gives me is that this straight up and down height here, the height of the whole prism, that is equal to 17. Now I gotta find the surface area. So to find the surface area, I'm gonna have to do the P, B, H, L, A, and then I'm gonna have to lastly find the surface area. So I got a lot of parts to figure out here. So the first one is the perimeter, that's gonna be easy. If each side length is 10, there's six sides, 10 times six is equal to 60. The second part is not going to be as easy, finding this capital B. It is a regular polygon, so it is one-half AP. I have P, but I don't have A, so I need to figure out this apothem. So it's drawn for me down here. This is the apothem, same as up here. I'm going to take that triangle and bring it out here. If each side length is equal to 10, this piece of this triangle is five, because remember it gets broken up into two pieces here. So this part here is five. This is the apothem. So you can memorize when it's a hexagon, you just add on a radical three, or you can go through and you can derive that every single time. 360 divided by six is equal to 60 degrees. Half of that 60, half of that central angle is going to be equal to 30. So I have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So I can find my apothem by memorizing that, or I could even find the tangent. But when I get 5 square root of 3, I'm going to turn that into a decimal and I'm going to leave that as 8.66. That's going to be the number that I use for this. Now, I have to just plug in this information to find the area of this space, to find this shape right here, the area of that. So it is one half, this little a that I had to work so hard to get, times 60. So when I multiply that all out, for my capital B, I'm going to get 259.8. Now, my straight up and down height, I got already a 17 that was given to me. The lateral area is just the perimeter times the height. So I have the perimeter and I have the height. So 60 times 17. 60 times 17, when I work that out, I get 1,020. Now, to find the surface area as the last piece, I have to do, it's the lateral area plus the two bases, plus the two bases. So the lateral area that I just found, 1,020, plus two bases. So here's the base, 259.8. So I take that and I do 2 times 259.8 plus my 1,020. And I'm going to get for my surface area, 1,539.6. Now what are my units? centimeters squared, and that's how I'm going to type it in plus. 